In this video, we're going to focus on how we can put in the values or the label text on specific location. And more specifically, if I refresh, you can see here, this one will nicely animate with the bar, while this one will be steady with our arbitrary line. To do this, the first thing what we need is our boiler template, which you can find here on chartjs3.com getting started. Once you're on here, scroll down and copy this chunk of code and you're good to go. Next, if you want to have the source code of this video and many others, check out my Patreon page. And of course, got a question, put it on Discord. So what we're going to do here now is first create the plugin to draw the line. But for that case, I want to have a higher uh, line so I say max of 100 let's save that refresh there we are and I want to have at 60 we will have this dotted line first so comma and it goes to plugins and then we're going to say here this can be our line label or something like that uh, not label label line label copy then we're going to say constant equals this then ID and before or well let's do it after the data sets has been drawn we say chart arcs and plugin options and the reason why after is i want to make sure that the lines on top if ever you have a bar the bar will be underneath our line so then what we're going to do here is well we can say here the constant for the chart object destructuring for the specific chart object and then we're going to say here ctx chart area specifically top or maybe left and right it's the most important one and then we have here the scales as well and for the scales we can use here the x and y scale all right once we've got that what I want to do now is start to draw the line. So I say ctx.save to save all variables above. Then I'm going to say here ctx.begin path. And the reason why is I want to create a new shape independent of anything else. So once I did this, we can now start to draw our line from the level 60 and going all the way to the right side. So I say ctx.move2, which will give us the starting dot. So we're going to say here x and y coordinates and for this for the x i'm going to use left of the chart area and the reason why is that this is the left of the chart area the y what i'm going to do here is i'm going to say this is 60 so i'm going to say here y dot get pixel for the value and our value that we want is 60. so once we have the 60 on the scale, it will convert that 60 into a pixel coordinate that will know exactly this point here. All right, so once we have that, I want to make another one, and that is our line 2. So that's the ending line, which is again an X and Y value. For the ending line, it will be the right side now, because we're going to hit this part here. And then for the Y, because it's a straight line, we're going to do it like that. Save. Then we're almost done. We're going to say CTX dot stroke to draw the line let's save that refresh there we are now what i need to do is i want to give it a dotted line and give it a color and maybe control the thickness of this line so before we draw the stroke because this is the command to draw so just before that i can set here the color so for example uh, stroke style and this will be let's get any color here i just grab this color here that's a red color probably and put it in this stroke style Next, I want to say ctx that line width for the stick for the thickness, and we'll set it on three. I think it is already on three, but just in case. And then finally, we're going to say ctx that set line dash, and this here controls the solid six pixels of solid, and then after that, six pixels of white space. Let's save that. Semicolon here. Save. Refresh. There we are, and that looks quite nice. All right, but if you look very carefully here, you can see it's overlapping or it's bleeding over to everything else. So what I need to do here, ctx.restore to undo whatever we did. There we are, and now you can see it is restored and it will undo everything else. So now what I want to do is I want to have a number here. I want to say this is 60 or any kind of text. So how do we do this? If we do it specifically here on the left side, so I'm going to say ctx dot 
and I'm going to say here font. Let's say here the font will be 12 pixels. Let's make it bold. And we say here the sans serif font family. This is the default font family of Chart.js. Next, what I want to do is color. So as you see, text that fill style. And the fill style will be black. Very straightforward for now. You can change it to any color you want. Then I'm going to say here ctx.fill text to draw the text. And in here, we're going to have some values. The text itself, the x and y coordinate. For the text here, I'll just make this 60. We can, it can be a number in this case, doesn't matter. For the coordinate, we're going to say here, this will, we just grab this for now, the left side. And we can just even grab this one here as well, and we can fine tune it afterwards. So let me just show you how this looks like. Let's save this, refresh. As you can see here, this looks nice, but I would like to have it a bit more up so it's easy to read and away from the scale here. So we have this here. Let's move this a bit more to the right side. So what I can say here is plus 12 pixels. So we're moving it 12 pixels to the right. There we are. Let's move it a bit more up by saying here, negative 12. And if we do this, it moves up a little bit and that's it. All right, so now we have this, and I think that's quite nice. We could even move it a little bit lesser, maybe six pixels would be fine. So what if I would like to have one on the bar here? Well, there's a plugin for it, but we can just quickly make one by doing the same thing here. I'll keep it as well same, but now what I want to do here is I want to get this value here, number 18. Let's say 18 here, go to put 18 there, save, refresh. As you can see here, it works, but let's move, put it more in the center and give it the animation of the movement. So to do that, what I need to do here is we just keep this 18. This here needs to be converted, and there's a built-in function for this. So say chart.get dataset meta, and this comes from dataset zero because we only have one dataset, number 18 here. So then I'm going to see a dot data zero because we are only also on the first data point and then we're going to get that x and then saying what i want to do here is for the y and instead of x i'll say here y save refresh oh let's see what's going on chart get data set meta that should be capitalized m here as well save refresh there we are, and as you can see here, it is not really properly positioned. Let's fix that. So as you can say here, ctx at text align. We'll put this in the center. So we have to see if the upper one will not affect that. Sometimes it does, but probably not because it will load this first and afterwards this. If it would be the other way around, it will affect this one here. So remember that. So I'm going to refresh. Now you can see here. Uh, I have a feeling it does affect. So what we're going to do here is copy this and put this on left. So it will not affect this one. This one here can have an additional height of a minus, let's say 12 pixels. There we are. So now we have two lines here or two items where we can control the position here and the position of the scale. And that's it.